Some speakers speak at the audience. Some speakers speak to the audience. The best speakers speak with the audience. They think about how they can make this time, this time that the audience will never get back, how they can make this time valuable for the audience. That's what this video is about. It's Connor here at ESA Business School this week with Florian, John, Tobias and Tony and we have had a great week with the Executive MBA. We've seen fantastic growth and given that I had such a wonderful team on campus, I asked them to share some tips for public speaking. As speakers, we want our audiences to see us. We want them to see us as having expertise, as being trustworthy, as being credible. And this is important. But it's also important to flip the lens around and it's important that we see our audiences. One of the official languages of South Africa is Isi Zulu. It's the language spoken by about 10 million Zulu people in South Africa. And there's a word in Isi Zulu, Saubona. Saubona is a greeting when one person meets another. They say Saubona. But it means more than hello. It means I see you. Not just I see you that you're wearing a, a blue suit with a red tie and a white shirt. It's something much more profound. It means I see you as a person. A person with ancestors in a history, a person with hopes and dreams, fears and worries, successes and failures. I see you as a person with a life every bit as rich and complex as mine. And Saubona is, first of all, an invitation for two people to engage with one another, but it also implies an obligation that each will give something to the other to enrich this moment that we have together. And I think it's a wonderful thing, Saubona, a wonderful philosophy for speakers to have when thinking about their audiences. We need to see our audiences. So practically, how can we do this? Here are three ideas. First, before the speaking event, do some research about your audience. Look on the web, find out about them. I use a tool, SurveyMonkey. I will send out a very simple survey asking them, what do you hope to get out of this event? What are you looking for? What are you working on? What do you want to improve about yourself? Things like that. Second idea, arrive at the event early. That way, once everything is set up, you can start to meet some of the people who arrive first. You can get to know them a little bit, interact with them, find out a little bit about them. The third way is when you're on the stage, just before you get to start to speak, look at your audience and remind yourself that these are not just faceless, you know, nameless faces sitting in chairs. Each one is a person with a life. And in your mind and in your heart, think, Saul Bona, I see you. I've had the real privilege of speaking in 20 countries on five continents. And the one thing that I've discovered is that all audiences are the same in that they can tell very quickly if the speaker's really there for them or just going through the motions. When you think and act Saubona, you will see coming back to you in the faces, in the eyes of your audience members, the answer, Yebo Saubona, we see you too. Have a great week. Hope you uh, uh, enjoy this weekend wherever you are. Have a good one. It's still rolling. Yeah, we can switch now. I, I did, uh, yeah, do you want to go next?